Set in late 19th century Norway, Arthur Miller's adaptation of Hendrik Ibsen's drama about one man's fight to speak what he believes to be the truth focuses on classic conflicts between the idealism of democracy and economic self-interest. Ibsen's title can be interpreted as an ironic indictment of a town that abandons civil liberties to prevent a potential economic crisis. The sole defender of the democratic process is labeled as an enemy of the people because he represents a threat to a massive cover-up. The play's central theme describes the moral reticence of a people who believe rights are sacred until it hurts for someone to use them. Henrik Ibsen is considered the father of modern drama. He is also known as an iconoclast who forced audiences to re-examine what is considered subtle truth about their culture. Ibsen claimed that an enemy of people was written because of un anti-democratic reactions to some of his earlier plays, such as the greatly controversial A Doll's House. European audiences were unsettled by the themes of A Doll's House, which undermined accepted attitudes about gender roles in marriage. Several critics interpreted the end of the play, in which the protagonist Nora Helmer leaves her husband and children in order to begin a journey of self-discovery, as a revolutionary moment in Western culture. Ibsen was surprised at the level of anger his play inspired by those who disagree with his message that a wife should be treated as an equal partner with her husband. He witnessed firsthand how much intolerance for controversial ideas can exist in a so-called democracy. If Ibsen had earned the label of iconoclast for a doll's house, he solidified his reputation in an enemy of the people. The protagonist of the enemy of the people, Dr. Thomas Stockman, takes on this seemingly undeniable basis for a democratic society, majority rule. At a climactic point in Miller's adaptation of the play, Dr. Stockman proclaims that he is against the age-old lie that the majority is always right. Without protections for unpopular ideas, the doctor argues, democracy fails and democratic people become no more than a mob. American playwright Arthur Miller stated that he was inspired to adapt an enemy of the people for mid 20th century audiences because of the abuses of the communist witch hunts, which destroyed the careers of many Americans. Like Ibsen, Miller saw how important respect for the free exchange of ideas is to a democracy. Miller's adaptation of the play focused greatly on the temptation to persecute dissenting opinions under the guise of majority rule. The town meeting scene in Act Two presents a textbook example of how logical fallacies and dirty tricks can be used to pervert democracy and unethically shut down the free exchange of ideas. As you read the play, consider how different characters use the following terms. People, majority, democracy. Dr. Stockman challenges his fellow citizens to reclaim the idealism behind these principles, which he sees as now only buzzwords used to emotionally manipulate people. As you finish the play, think about the following questions. Who or what is the true enemy of the people? How would you react if your own principles were being challenged by a threat to your economic security? How can an enemy of the people help us better understand controversies in our own time? Now go and read the play, make connections between the world of Dr. Thomas Stockman and your own world.